was a nice little moment. Well done, Ubisoft. Alright, so time to get the apple. Let's see what it might tell us. This is intense. It'd be more intense if it didn't take so long to load. Uh. Come on, game, you're killing me. I gotta find out what happens. Wow, that's a lot of money for just sitting and staring at a dead guy. Okay. There it is. Another artifact. No. You will stay here. I have seen enough for one life. Desmond? He's talking to me? I heard your name once before, Desmond. A long time ago. And now it lingers in my mind, like an image from an old dream. I do not know where you are, or by what means you can hear me. But I know you are listening. I have lived my life as best I could, not knowing its purpose, but drawn forward like a moth to a distant moon. And here at last, I discover a strange truth. But I am only a conduit for a message that eludes my understanding. Who are we who have been so blessed to share our stories like this? speak across centuries. Maybe you will answer all the questions I have asked. Maybe you will be the one to make all this suffering worth something in the end. Now, listen.
earth shook for days, the fires burned for weeks, and when the ash had settled, less than 10,000 of your kind still lived, and far fewer of ours. But we carried on, together, to rebuild, to renew. Listen, you must go there, to the place where we labor, labored and lost. Take my words, pass them from your head into your hands. That is how you will open the way. But be warned, much still remains in flux, and I do not know how things will end, either in my time or yours. His vitals are stabilizing. Something's happening. He's... he's moving. Desmond, can you hear me? Son? I know what we need to do. That was odd, and I don't know what it means, but presumably we will find out. Uh, so yeah, it looks like, uh, I guess as we already sort of knew, there was a giant solar flare, or something like it, that uh, destroyed the civilization of the ones who came before, who created us, or grabbed us while we were evolving, and enslaved us, and and then rebuilt with us after the flare. Um, and they had some particular temple that they used to build a technique which would save humanity, but it was too late, and now we have to do it to save it before it happens again, I guess. So we have to figure out where that place is that we're going. Um, as I said, the uh, thing that got leaked for Assassin's Creed 3 suggests that it's possibly in uh, the uh, Americas. Um, it looked like something in that cutscene was indicating that it was New York, so maybe we're talking about like Revolutionary Era New York, which could be pretty intense. Um, so yeah, this is, this is exciting stuff, guys. I'm looking forward to the next game. I'm really pissed that I didn't actually get to figure out the last bit of Desmond's journey. So I'm gonna wait and see when the, um... When the credits finish, whether it somehow puts us back into the Animus and we're able to finish that, because otherwise... <laughs> I guess we have to start all over, which... would be irritating. Doesn't seem Ubisoft's style. In the in the past, you've been able to do pretty much everything except for one bit. Um, in the first in the first Ezio game, there was one achievement that you couldn't get until you, unless you did it right in that particular plot point, because it involved the time that you used um, Leonardo's flying machine. So if you didn't get the achievement, oh okay, good. Thank you, Animus. I would have been really irritated with you if you didn't. <laughs> Alright, so I guess, yep, there it is. There it is. So, uh, I will record that, uh, fourth bit. Hell, maybe, maybe we'll do it right now. Maybe we'll do it right now and, uh, finish things up here, because it's just the last bit. We've already got all the fragments, so we might as well just, uh, Record that last bit of Desmond's journey, find out the remainder of his story, and be done with it. Um, but yeah, that was that was odd. Um, I'm honestly not entirely sure how I feel about this game. Um, I like the story. I like the story a lot. Um, the gameplay was middling. There were some parts that were lots of fun, and a lot of parts that were just kind of unnecessary. Um, so, uh, all in all, um, 
felt a little bit packed, too much full of various things, excuse me. So, uh, which is something and it shared with Brotherhood a little bit. They've just been packing new stuff in, so I'm hoping that, uh, and I think I'm not the only person to think that either, so hopefully they'll have, uh, heard that feedback for Assassin's Creed 3 and will kind of tone it back a little bit to the feel of the, of the second game a little bit. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm psyched, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing where it goes next. I am a little bit disappointed about the, uh, Revolutionary War period um, decision for the, if that is indeed what the decision is. Um, I really had my hopes held out for uh, Revolutionary France um, because I was reading a uh, article online that was saying that um, it made some sense with something that Sean says at the end of Brotherhood. So I was really like, yeah, that'd be awesome because it's like one of my favorite periods of history, but um, it doesn't look like that's the case, but that's okay. Revolutionary War is pretty cool. To. Um, and we will uh, we'll find out whether or not that's true. Um, by the time this video comes out, it will be long since announced, I have a feeling. Um, but the release date, I think, is slated for October 30th, and I will definitely be recording it. So, uh, yeah, watch this space for uh, further insight on that. And uh, I'm sure I will be talking about it at some point in the future. Can we please finish up these credits? I'm running out of things to talk about. Um, yeah, so uh, we finished up this walkthrough. I'm currently, as we speak, also doing a walkthrough of Alan Wake. Um, the list of new releases that I'm interested in LPing kind of starts back up again in October, because both uh, Revelations and uh, Bioshock Infinite are both coming out that month, so I'm looking forward to uh, LPing both of those. Uh, in the meantime, I'm probably going to finish Alan Wake, uh, I'm probably going to do Bioshock 2, maybe Portal 2, maybe a couple of smaller titles that um, I just want to mess around with, and uh, I, bought, I bought a Pirates of the Caribbean game because it was like $2 at GameStop, and I know nothing about it, but I may LP that as well, um, just because it's there and uh, it's something to do. Um, but if you have any other suggestions, as always, please let me know. I'd love to hear, uh, hear them. Obviously, if they're very expensive games, uh, they may have to wait a little bit until the price goes down. But, uh, yeah, because I'm a poor graduate student. But absolutely, if you, uh, if you make a suggestion, I, I listen to every suggestion that I get. So, um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. And, uh, please comment and subscribe, as always. And... The credits just keep going, man. <laughs> there were a lot of people involved in this damn game. Voice talents. Quite a few of them. A lot of names there. Uh, now we're talking about all the different versions. <sighs> okay, yeah, these are voice talents for every individual version of the game. We did the English version, for those of you who are wondering, those of you who are keeping track at home. Maybe I'll do an LP in the Spanish version and see how much I can do. <laughs> um, anyhow, so yeah, we'll just keep going along here. And, uh, yeah, I'm guessing that uh, the fifth part of Desmond's journey will basically be um, learning about how he got captured and all the lead up into the, uh, into the first game where he was stuck on uh, Invidix lab in, uh... Did I do that? Or... I think I did. It just got brighter all of a sudden. Um... I think that was me. Yeah, I nudged the controller. Anyway! Um... I guess it had gone to sleep. Anyway! Uh, yeah, because the first game he was all stuck in Abstergo Labs, which, as I said, I have not played. <laughs> so I don't know. I may do it eventually, if I run out of other things to do. I've heard it's not nearly as good. I've seen some videos of it. It doesn't seem nearly as good um, as the as uh, the Ezio series. Um, though, in a sense, it would probably be good for me to play it in order to kind of get the full picture of what... Uh, happened prior to everything we learned about Altair in this game. Um, those bits were kind of up and down, too. Some of it was fun, but other bits, I mean, that one bit was completely glitchy, like, or 
with Marco and or Niccolo and Niccolo Polo and his son. Um, that was pretty confusing because <laughs> they just kind of glitched themselves off into La La Land. But um, but yeah, it was nice. This game was very much about playing old dudes, which uh, <laughs> kind of limits your options in a physical sense, I suppose. Though Ezio certainly still has it after you know what. Was he supposed to be, like, 50 years or whatever? 50 years old? I hope he and Sophia are happy. That was a nice touch. I'm glad they, they ended up together. Ezio deserves someone to be with. Oh my god, are we done with the damn credits yet? <laughs> Jesus. Come on. Come on. Hurry it up. Alright, we're getting down to the directors now, so... Oh my god, my cat just startled me. Whew. Anyway, we're getting down to the uh, to the directors now, so I assume we must be... What the hell is Alice? Alice Studio. Alice Director. What is that? Oh, this is going on a long time. Hope all of these people appreciate that I hung around long enough to uh, display all of their names here at the end of this... Uh, thing. Not that you can really see, probably, with the quality that I'm recording in, but, uh, whatever. It's gotta be almost done now, right? Motion capture... It really is kind of impressive, the number of people that have to, uh, work together on this kind of thing. I mean, I, uh, you know, worked on very small software development projects, and even that was hard to keep organized, and keep on top of everyone and make sure everyone was working on the same thing, and this just must be ridiculous. It must just take a lot of work and a lot of organization. And really, all things considered, it's pretty amazing the sort of things that get put out in uh, high-profile video games these days. I never cease to be amazed by technology. I know I'm a digital, digital native and live in the house of tomorrow and growing up with technology and all of that, but uh, it still never ceases to amaze me, really. Anyway, I'm just talking here now. This is... <laughs> In the past, I haven't usually had to talk during the credits, because usually there was nothing else that I was going to do afterwards, so... <sighs> this is taking a long time. Tell you what, I'm going to go... <laughs> I'm gonna go get a drink while this runs, and uh, I will leave a note in the video as to when the uh, game actual play starts back up again, and uh, yeah, so I will not be talking during this next bit, which is probably just as well. <laughs> 